Hello, Bennington. Um, I am Jeff Krause. You may know me from Hacking 101 or Expressive Computing or Dickinson Room 211. Um, I really wish I could be there tonight, but unfortunately uh, I am in New York, but I am joining you via YouTube to introduce a very dear friend of mine, Mr. Steve Lambert. Um, this is kind of last minute, so bear with me. But uh, I've known Steve for um, a few years now, and we've worked a lot together and traveled together, uh, laughed and cried together, though mostly laughing, not so much crying. Uh, and I've learned a few things about Steve and the mythology of, of Steve's life. Um, yes, he was raised by a nun and a Franciscan monk who had taken a vow of poverty in California. Yes, he's had over 20 jobs, ranging from Vespa repair to uh, Rent-A-Cop and a drugstore. Um, no, he did not graduate from high school, and yet still somehow has an MFA from Davis. Uh, yes, he started the anti-advertising agency and has given awards to advertisers who quit their jobs to pursue their real dreams. Um, and yes, he's created both ad art and self-control to award-winning pieces of software that you should really check out. But I'm sure that he and Robert are going to do a fantastic job of covering those big things. So what I wanted to concentrate on was um, Steve's lesser-known accomplishments. Um, because like most geniuses, uh, it's hard to separate Steve's life from his work. So sometimes the, the little stuff, um, the just afterthoughts, uh, can fall through the cracks. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the committees that he's served on or the awards that he's won, but just the little accidental unconscious actions and creations um, that are uh, common with guys like Steve. Um, such as the Rimshot emoticon um, for use, uh, and I th I'm not sure, I think this is it. Steve, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, which is specifically used for really bad jokes on the internet. Um, he can make really good homemade strawberry ice cream. Uh, he once single-handedly sabotaged a conference on the internet um, because they weren't representing women uh, enough. He invented a game called Internet Jeopardy and uh, hosted it at the Great Internet Sleepover. That was pretty cool. Uh, he once stopped a gang of cops at a protest just by telling them jokes. Uh, he pioneered a form of hugging that is entirely focused on making the recipient feel uncomfortable, and I've been the recipient a, a couple of times, so I can vouch for the effectiveness of that. Um, he has played in country, soul, honky-tonk, and swing bands. Uh, I think he plays bass. Um, together we brought great shame to an, a, a PR firm, um, who was trying to get musicians to uh, mention products in their songs. Um, and this one doesn't really count, but he was invited and was all set to go and represent the anti-advertising agency at a advertising conference in Saudi Arabia uh, against the advice of a lot of very smart people. Um, that didn't end up happening, but he was ready for it. Uh, and last but not least, he has been a great inspiration to me and everyone else I know who has had the pleasure of working with him. Um, so, uh, I'm sure I could think of a lot more things, but, uh, I gotta get this thing up on YouTube. So, uh, in closing, Steve is a real artist, activist, powerhouse, and a walking legend, and you guys are going to love what's about to happen to you, which is Steve. So enjoy, 
And just don't look him in the eye because he can get a little bitey. Okay, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.